guys, it's Josh from Strangel Films. I just want to take a few minutes today to walk you through how to properly balance a camera on a tripod. So, if the camera is properly balanced, I can pretty much put the camera in any position, take my hands off, and the camera will stay in that position. And, most importantly, when it's time to move it, I can very gently get my hands back on the tripod and get it in any position I want. So why is this important? Well, I can always lock the camera with the locks in any position. But if I'm shooting an interview or something with a lot of like maybe small subtle movements, if I'm coming back and I'm trying to take these off, you know, you might get some camera shake. So it's important to be able to find your shot, take your hands off, change your focus, whatever, and then very easily move it again. Now that we know why it's important to get your camera in perfect balance, let's walk through how to, how to go about doing it. Um, so the first thing to do is to set everything to zero. You want to have no forces working on this camera at all. And that's going to allow you to get a really good baseline for uh, the first adjustment, which is the front and back balance. So most tripods are going to have a little bit of adjustment built into this top plate. And that's going to give you a couple inches. But if you're using a big camera, you're going to want to use a dovetail, which will give you a lot more travel. So Right now the camera's way out of balance. So if I take the locks off and I set it like this, that camera's gonna continue to go over or back. And that's gonna cause a problem because if you if that lock fails or you let it go, it's gonna go over and it may even tip over completely, and that's gonna be a very expensive problem. So let's find using this dovetail, let's find a spot where the camera doesn't want to go in either direction. It simply wants to stay right upright. Now, if I lock it down and I move the camera over, it's gonna to continue to go over or back. But that's where the counterbalance comes in. So the counterbalance puts a little bit of force to prevent the camera from going one way or the other. So we crank up the counterbalance the point that the camera stays at whatever angle you leave it at. One thing I really like about these Cartoni Focus heads is that the counterbalance is available in very small increments. So some tripods will only give you five or 10 pound increments and sometimes you'll find yourself stuck right between one of those increments. This one doesn't really have any set increments so it allows you to really fine tune where you want your counterbalance. All right. So now the counterbalance is set. Now we can find our fluid drag, which we turn up or down, depending on how easily we want to be able to move the camera. So there's a, there's a pan drag and a tilt drag. The pan drag controls your left to right motion, and your tilt drag controls your up and down motion. And you're just going to find right where you want to be and like I said, you want to be able to point the camera in any direction, take your hand off, let it go, and it'll stay right there, nice and smooth. So that's it. I hope you guys found this informative. It's a very simple concept, but it is very important. Um, and I hope if you have any questions about this one, or if there's something else you'd like us to cover, feel free to hit us up, strangel.com. You can tweet us, Instagram us. We'd love to hear from you. We always love to talk gear. Thanks for watching.